Thanks very much for joining us, Professor Shen. Uh, I was wondering if you could talk to us a little bit about how you see China playing a positive role uh, in terms of its global leadership. Well, in many fronts, uh, Load and Belt uh, Initiative. Uh, it's a win-win project. China wants to promote its export of those uh, what it has called oversupply of those uh, cement and iron and steel. But the China can pack these uh, into the format like a fast rail, uh, airport, seaport, uh, terminal, bridge, etc. And this uh, may entice the, uh, the demand side. China give us a supply side. And uh, China asked, are you interested? The 60 countries say yes. So this is a, a, a regional and a global leadership. When, let's talk a little bit more about the Belt and Road Initiative. It can easily be sold as a as a win-win strategy yes. and, a, and a wonderful piece of economic diplomacy. But the rest of the world still has some concerns about it. Sure. Uh, can do you understand where those concerns come from, and do you have suggestions about how China could do better with the Belt and Road sure. Initiative to allay sure. those fears? Uh, concerns are multiple. India's concern why China would give so much money to build Pakistan uh, so quickly, and especially uh, build over the territory which is called Pakistan-occupied uh, uh, Kashmir. Indians think it's my land. How China can go to this land illegally occupied by, by, by Pakistan without consulting with me? India is unhappy. Japan thought that China would grab lots of market, so that would may undercut Japan's export. And uh, some country may think China may give finance uh, to country which may not be able to repay. So why China has such a, a, an unreasonable economic partnership? And uh, what if China would use this uh, high rail uh, for strategic purpose? So lots of such a question that China need to uh, explain. And uh, first, China need to think about this before it would push for envelope. So, for example, with India, they boycotted the, the Beijing, big summit, Beijing. the Beijing summit, yes. and I'm sure China would have been quite, up, the Chinese officials would have been quite upset by that decision. Mm. But does, does something happen after that for, for the Chinese to try and speak to the Indians or alleviate their fears? Uh, you know, before this, uh, the, the forum, China already has taken, taken measures to mitigate uh, Indians' concern. The Indian concern is that the land is under dispute. Why you build a road over the, uh, the, such a place, which should belong to uh, India? China's response is that uh, um, I did not take a position. Uh, who deserves the ownership? Who should have the sovereignty? I just want to help the poor people living in this place. India said, no, you cannot do it. China said, what we change the name of this CPAC. China-Pakistan Economic Corridor to China-Pakistan-Indian Economic Corridor. India said, no, if, as long as you keep doing it, it can, you cannot change my perception despite the change of name. So China is uh, willing to change the name, to incorporate India in, to make it a trilateral project. We will keep uh, uh, working with India to uh, uh, soothe India's uh, concern. I guess there is a, a fear of, of China as a, as a rising power and mm. no matter what they go out and mm. do that looks like it can be a win-win strategy or that they're helping yes, other yes. countries as well, there's still this reticence. Yes. Uh, do you think that's warranted or do you think the rest of the world judges China unfairly sometimes? Uh, well, I, I would say China changed its, its name of One Belt, One Load strategy to One Belt and One Load Initiative or simply put, Belt and Load Initiative. China must think a strategy, the term strategy, not bad, but not good as well. So let me uh, move to a better word, which is initiative. Strategy means that China has well designed it to defeat somebody. Well, if it is strategy, it, it, it is to defeat poverty and underdevelopment. But it may carry some military sense. So China now is more smarter to use a, a more or less politicized term, initiative. You're welcome to join and you're free not to join mm -hmm. and we can partner at a later time. But then other countries can consider that China offers uh, goods 
and uh, take a risk. So why we refuse uh, the, the partnership? And China welcomes U.S. and Japan to join as well. So in the, uh, the, the forum uh, in May this year in Beijing, uh, Japan and the U.S. start to uh, accept the idea. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, Prime Minister Abe is talking about uh, Japan should uh, partner with China for this initiative. If we can see some win-win between China and Japan, that would be absolutely fantastic. China is unable to, 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 to take a monopoly of all projects. We need Japan's technology, Japan's money, Japan's finance, and Japan's willingness to partner. Otherwise, China will be too lonely. So you need joint leadership in the future, not China ruling the world. No, it's a, it should be Japan leadership. China supported Japan to le take leadership. But Japan said, I'm tired. <laughs> uh, you are welcome to take a co-leadership. So we should be polite, not to say I'm the leader, deluding you are not leader. We should be polite, not, not, to, be, uh, uh, not to take a very high-handed position. Culturally sensitive. I think that sounds wonderful and particularly in the current global context to have a, a polite global leader would be something we'd all look forward to respectful, very much. Respectful, respectful leadership. <laughs>